bored with TV. Maybe I should draw something. Where are my markers? Ugh. It's all gray. I don't know what to draw. I know. What I'll do is I'll go outside because nature has amazing inspiration out there. I could, hmm, I could just go on a walk and try and find all the different colors in nature. Maybe it won't be so gray. <gasps> I've got a great idea. Do you want to come along? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get on all different colors and then we're going to go and find those colors out in nature. Ducky, I've got a great idea. You want to go on a hike? Hey guys, we are here and we are going to go on a color hike. Very excited about it. Um, so what I want you to do is I want you to go when you're ready, you find an adult and then you go and you put on the craziest color scheme that you can. Um, so we're going to show you what we are wearing, but what is happening is that we are going to ask you then to go outdoors and find your, the colors that you're wearing somewhere outdoors. I mean, it's better if it's in nature, but if it's not, if it's like a car color or something like that, you're still outdoors, so it's fine. Um, cool, so let's see what we're wearing. Found black mulch. It's probably not the exact same color, but it's pretty much the same. So I'm gonna count it. You're right, good. So we found some maroon, maroonish looking leaves. Just going with my maroon shirt. Maroon, maroon. Perfect. We found this bush and it's really awesome. It has all of these really pretty pink colors. And if you notice, there's different shades of pink. So it goes for my shirt and it goes for my hat. Isn't that cool? I love nature because there are so many different colors out here and they don't have to be all the same color in just one, um, one item, which is really kind of cool. Kind of like when you put on clothes, you don't have to put just one color on and it doesn't have to be, it could just be the same color, which is kind of cool. Fashion is cool and so is nature. Right now we got some white in uh, the honeysuckle gum on the honeysuckle. Bush. Bush. <laughs> it's fine. Learning. So we got some white for my white pepper. Nice. So we're nearly at the end of our journey, and I really haven't found anything for my orange yet. So that's okay though, because we're in an urban environment, and as long as the color is outdoors, and this beautiful mural is outdoors, and it's very very colorful. So any color that I think any of these colors also are on here, um, but. Here's my pretty orange, <sighs> but Ducky, I think I'm tired. Let's go home. Okay, TikTok. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, did you guys have as much fun as I did on our color walk? Ducky had a really good time too. Um, so now let's talk about another type of uh, art, music. So. Out in nature, you can hear different sounds and all of that kind of thing. Did you know that music is a type of is a type of art, and so is dance. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a maraca uh, out of a bottle, beans, or popcorn, or brown rice, anything like that, and then we're gonna decorate it and then we're going to dance. All right, let's get started. So to make a maraca, you will need a sturdy water bottle or some sort of bottle. Make sure to, if it didn't have water in it, so if it had a soda or something like that, make sure to clean out and rinse out the, the bottle and let it dry. You don't want it to have any sort of water in there. Um, and then, you need something to put into the bottle. So these are black beans, these are kidney beans. Um, they have a different shape, both of them. So they probably would make a different sound. 
Um, I am going to be using today, because these aren't already open, I'm going to be using some popcorn and um, some rice. So this might have a different kind of sound, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, I'm also going to, just to help me get the beans into the, uh, the bottle, um, I'm going to make myself a funnel. Um, now, if you have a regular funnel and all of your, um, your stuff will go into the funnel and go, get through, that's awesome. Um, but if you don't have a, a funnel that is for uh, cooking or anything like that, you can always make one by taking two corners of your piece of paper, putting them together. I'm actually going to use a piece of tape. You want to make sure that the hole at the bottom is big enough that you're not um, going to keep these uh, the um, the kernels from going through, but small enough that it'll still fit into the bottle. See, that doesn't work. Once I've got my funnel ready, stick that down in there, and then, oops, don't need too many. I actually have too many in there for this point. say pull up the bottom with your bigger kernels if you do decide to um, yeah I have too many um, if you do decide to do two um, I wouldn't go more than probably a quarter of the way or a, a fourth of the way. <laughs> right. Morty! Everyone, this is my cat. His name is Morty. He is being a bad boy. Come here, buddy. Go that way. Thank you. in the brown rice. And I use brown because it's healthier. Just kidding. It's because that's what was open. Interesting. All right. So from here, you just take the cap, you put it back on, and then that's a fun sound. Now what you can do is you can go through and you can decorate it and you can use different pieces of paper, um, different stickers, anything that you want. You can use your marker and draw things on it. So, um, so sure, I'm going to take a second and I'm going to decorate my maraca and then we'll do a dance. All right, go ahead and pause the video here and make your own maraca. 
So how'd it go? Is it just everything that you wanted it to be? I made some pretty, I think this is pretty awesome. Look at it, so many stickers. I love stickers. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to listen to the sound that it makes and figure out what in nature it kind of sounds like. Does it sound like a dog? No, dogs go woof woof. Does it sound like a cat? No, cats go meow, meow. Let's see, does it sound like a frog? No. Does it sound like a cricket? Maybe. They kind of go no, they don't. Just kidding. I have no idea. I don't know what a cricket sounds like. Does it sound like rustling leaves? Maybe. All right. What other sounds do you think that it might sound like? While you do that, think about it. I'm going to do a dance. All right, so now that you have your, your maraca, go ahead and put it together. I'm gonna challenge you, and I think you should try and do a dance that is like a tree, a tree in the wind, all right? So what did your dances look like? That is so cool, oh my gosh. Well, next thing we need to do, last thing we need to do, is we need to talk a little bit about the principles of leave no trace. So, when we go out into nature, kind of like we did earlier on our walk, on our color walk, um, we want to make sure that we're always taking care of the nature, right? So, we have seven things that you need to do when you go out. One, you need to know before you go. Meaning, you need to know where you're going, what you're doing, what you'll need to take, that kind of stuff. Two, choose the right path. Make sure that you're staying on trails. Make sure that you are staying on sidewalks. Make sure that you are not going off and trampling down any type of vegetation, which means plants, or anything like that. So. Three, trash your trash. It means whatever you take into nature, you need to bring back out of nature. Even banana peels or orange peels, anything like that. If it's not there in nature when you get there, it shouldn't be there when you leave. Four, leave what you find. So if it is there in nature when you get there, you should leave it there and not bring it with you when you come back. This can be hard sometimes, but the thing is, is that if you take something from nature then that you really thought was cool, then someone else who's coming after you won't get to see that cool thing, right? So that's not cool. So make sure that you leave what you find. Five, be careful with fire. Fire can be very dangerous. Make sure that you are being very cautious around it if you have like a campfire or something like that. And make sure that if someone is making a campfire that they're doing it in a safe way. Six, respect wildlife. That means that you want to stay away from wildlife. They are wild animals. Even though a bear looks really, really cuddly and we may even have a teddy bear that's just our own, real bears are a little bit meaner and they're not, they don't want to be touched by animals or by humans. Or that could even go for squirrels. <sighs> Sorry. That even goes for squirrels. So just don't touch animals. Last one, be kind to other visitors. So when you're out in nature, usually why you're out there is because you want to be out and in the solace and the, and just be there in nature, right? Is there anything worse than having a really loud person right next to you 
when you're trying to be peaceful? No, you don't want that. So don't really, you want to keep your voice low. You want to um, make sure that you're not bothering anyone else that may be on the trail. So now that you know all of these principles, I want you to take a minute and I want you to draw a picture of you doing one of these principles, okay? So I'll show you what I did. I chose number six, respect wildlife. And I drew a picture of me looking at a butterfly. Notice I'm not touching it, I'm just looking. So, what? which one will you pick? Pause the video here so that you can choose. All right, which one did you pick? Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Good job. All right. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with me and learning a little bit about outdoor art. Have a great day.